তোমরা আমার উপর বিশ্বাস আছে আমি প্রধানমন্ত্রী তো চাই না আমরা এসে মানুষের অধিকার চাই We will fight. We will go back and fight. My country hearkens for me. Why should I waste my time here in the Security Council? I will not be a party to the ignominious surrender of part of my country. You can take your Security Council. Here you are. I am going. Well, the 132nd nation may be applying for membership in the UN soon. Bangladesh, the Bengal nation, was proclaimed today in what for 24 years has been East Pakistan. Its Pakistani garrison surrendered last night. Prime Minister Mrs. Gandhi of India informed a cheering parliament in New Delhi. She also declared a unilateral Indian ceasefire in Kashmir in the West to begin at what will be 9.30 Eastern time tomorrow morning. But to see the faces of people looking determined, looking with determination and faith and hope to the future. It is a great, I, I feel deeply grateful to God to have been able to see this day. Thank you, gentlemen. Today, I am free to share the unbounded joy of freedom with my fellow countrymen. We have owned their freedom in an epic liberation struggle. The ultimate achievement of this struggle is the creation of an independent, sovereign People's Republic of Bangladesh. People love me. People have respect me. The people have confidence in me and my party. And I know that so long I am here, my people will, have, we will continue their support.
Reports from India tonight say as many as 200 people have been killed in Bangladesh in the aftermath of a pre-dawn coup in which President Mujibar Rahman was shot to death in the presidential palace. The Bangladesh Prime Minister and two of his nephews also lost their lives. The newly installed president, Kandakur Mushtaq Ahmed, is thought to be relatively pro-Western. He changed the name of the country from the People's Republic of Bangladesh to the Islamic Republic of Bangladesh. So you would think that had Mujib remained alive, he would have turned the tables on you. Yes, that would have been his first effort. And so you had to eliminate him, but you had to kill him. Yes, I had to. On humanitarian ground, we have to give them shelter. We cannot just push them back in a, and we cannot put them in a distress. So that's why we just allow them to enter our, our country.